journey buddies how are you guys doing today i'm doing great so today it will be kind of like a day in the life but not exactly how every day goes because i am spontaneous so things change but um i did post that i will be starting the gym so today is the day i'm headed there now um, I have two months to tone up for my birthday. So I'll be meeting my sister at the gym and we're gonna have a workout. And I have some seed orders that I need to get ready and um, to send out. And I need I have a couple of trees that have been sitting, the banana tree and the been that long i don't even remember what type of tree it is <laughs> oh my god banana and is it peach tree i guess but i need to plant those so i'll be doing that today um cleaning up the van so if all is well that will be the day um i just wanted to let you guys know what's going on and i will see you soon this weekend for I guess Mother's Day weekend it'll be me my two children my sister her two children and my other sister we're gonna probably go camping we plan to do this the children have never been before so I wanted to go somewhere different and more relaxing but since we're taking the kids I'm gonna go back to that party campsite and also um my next journey maybe um i'll be headed out maybe tuesday or wednesday i think i'm gonna go to south carolina and north carolina i um i've been to south carolina before but not driving journey me and my husband went we drove up there to see his sisters and um we actually met them for the first time so I'm gonna probably roll through South Carolina, check out a beach or two there, and then go on to North Carolina. I've never been to North Carolina before. So hopefully I can find some some things to do there. Um, I do think they have mountains in North Carolina, so I am gonna try to find a mountain. So if you are from North Carolina or have been to North Carolina, if you can offer some suggestions on what cities are good cities to view because i don't have a city in mind um and um like what type of attractions like um what or some things to do there um just let me know and i can look those up but um i probably be like i said headed out maybe tuesday wednesday um to go to those states I'm trying to get this map um, that has the U.S. and you can like put the stickers on there for um, like each state each state you visit, so that I can keep up with that. I think that'll be pretty cool. And for my gym, I um, go to Esporta. It was LA Fitness, and when I was just in. Um, Georgia and Alabama they didn't have any there so I am going to have to join Planet Fitness because I know that they're more known and spread out over the US so I'm definitely going to have to join um, Planet Fitness so I'll probably probably do that today Thank you. 
Oh, I did forget to tell you guys about my addiction. I do have an addiction. Plants are my addiction. I love growing plants and fruits and vegetables. I love growing anything, especially when something is dead. I love bringing it back to life. And I am really addicted to that. So I pulled up at Lowe's. I'm not supposed to even be here right now, but I was going to the car wash and this was, you know, near here. So I'm going to go see what they have on the death rack. Oh, oh no, why did I stop y'all? Why did I stop here? Oh my God. Why, why, why? Nine plants for $6.98. I'm about to see because that is unreal. Then they have this for for 10 special. Oh no, I'm going to be cutting into my traveling money. I made it to I made it to the death of clearance rack. So I was saved because <laughs> I have most of the items already on their rack. So I don't gotta spend money there. Okay, so I made it out of there without buying anything. That's like the first. <laughs> so I'm, I'm glad I was able to fight that temptation first step to recovery is admitting that you have a problem okay so I'm gonna eat a salad before I get started with my yard work it's already 85 degrees here so it's hot I just did my workout and I gotta think of some better ways to get protein in I really don't I wouldn't say I eat a lot of protein I've been feeling fine though but I hear that when you're working out or even, you know, on regular, for regular life, but when you work out that you need even more protein. So I don't like protein shakes. Um, I probably should just consume more beans, but those a lot of times give me upset stomach. So I really don't know what I'm gonna do about extra protein. And this is a cranberry walnut salad has sp spring greens, feta cheese, candied walnuts, dried cranberries, and flatbread. And it has a raspberry vinaigrette um, dressing. And this is another good one that I like. I usually don't use all the dressing because it's a little sweet. And I don't really like it that sweet. So I just usually put a little bit on there. But it is very good refreshing salad. So it's like if you have a sweet tooth or you're craving something sweet, you should do this salad definitely because it will hit the spot and it has different textures. Yes. Mm. Strong. But I had a pretty good workout. Um, I'm just starting out, so any little thing that I do, I'm gonna feel impact. My sister, you know, she could do a little bit more and it was like a light workout for her. It didn't take much. <laughs> so we were in there and out pretty quickly. And she was worried that I was gonna go to the thrift store because it's half off Wednesday. <laughs> And she has to go to work. But I was like, no, I'm not going to go because I'm not really trying to buy anything. I'm trying to save money to be able to travel. And I really honestly don't need anything like personal. I don't need any clothes or anything, but I do need 
some things for the van and for traveling but you know it's a hit and miss with the with the thrift stores about what you will find you know what i'm looking for i probably wouldn't find it there so i didn't even want to waste my time and maybe uh going in there and buying something that i really don't need so i i just decided that i'm not going <laughs> one of these days soon I need to get up to my land here and, you know, get prepared and looking at what I want to plant. But it really, this time of the year is really, really hot and we don't get much rain. So it's like not really a good time to plant new things. But then at the same time, it's like if I wait too late, who knows where I may be or what I may be doing. And these trees have been sitting here for a while um just sitting there i've been needing to plant them but i've been waiting on the rain rainy season i like to plant my fruit trees when and actually my you know vegetables when it, we're in rainy season because if it, it's so hot at least if it rains it helps them you know it gives them that i have to water as frequently or water at all but right now we're like in a drought and that's why a lot of the campsites are not letting you um do fires here in florida but we're, we're kind of like in a drought and it's like very hard to grow new things. You know, things that are starting off like the established fruit trees and established plants, they're all doing great. Like they're, excuse me, waking up from the winter. But it's just like, I have new things that I want to plant. And then like some of my seeds, they're running short. So I needed to get them planted so that I can have new seeds for, you know, new orders. But it's just been so dry. So that's what we'll be doing after I eat my salad. I'm going to show you guys a few of my plants. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and plant my trees. And I have a section that is for my annual fruits and vegetables. But it's, it's like full sun and I don't have any trees or anything covering up and it's too hot. So what I think I'm going to incorporate some of those under some of my trees and i'll use that section for something later on maybe fall time when it gets a little cooler then i can plant some some um things on that side but let me finish my salad and then i'm gonna show you guys okay here is my passion fruit vine um i have the yellow and the purple but this is it and have plenty of them on here like they grow so abundantly and they're very tasty i actually tried these for the first time um not too long ago so that's one then i have my elderberry Let's see if i can pull it down oh, okay it's the start of the berries right here. This is my elderberry. There are some big elder, some at the top that are already like pretty big. But you can make elderberry syrup out of that and it's good for your immune system. Um, but that's my elderberry. And then this one right here is my cherry tree. And it has lots of flowers and blooms. So I'll have some good cherries. And of course, my mulberry. I have several of those planted around. And down here, those are ginger sprouting up. And these are all my citrus. I have different citrus along here. And this cactus actually produces, um, you can eat the pad, the leaves. Um, Latinos usually cook these and um, use them. I have those growing, they grow, grow beautiful flowers. Then right here I have pineapple plants. I just take the top off the store brought pineapples and grow them. And right here is my lime tree. I have several growing right now. They're kind of growing kind of low. This is my Turk's cap. It grows these red flowers and they're beautiful and it's edible. Then I have this called cranberry hibiscus and it's um, kind of like a, a cranberry taste. It's a little tart, 
but it's good to add to your salads. Gives it an extra bite. And then over here, this one is my guava. Don't know if I have any growing yet, but it's my guava. I don't see any new fruit on the tree yet. And then I have some banana trees right here. And my avocado. I have this baby mango tree. It's not very big yet, but it's getting there. And this is called a peanut butter fruit tree. It's really just now growing its leaves back. It was in the front and I took it out and put it on the side. So it lost all of its leaves and was dormant for like a few months. So it's just now starting to grow back. Here is right here is all my ginger popping up. It's a lot. They spread. And my pigeon peas have so many peas that I need to actually harvest. They've been on there. I need to get them, but I will. Here's my papaya tree. Let's see. I thought I saw a couple of blooms. Um, of the flower and yeah so I'll have a few papayas coming out shortly and this right here is my moringa tree and here's the pod it actually holds the seeds I have quite a few of those and I need to pick them I'm gonna wait for them to dry out but the moringa is actually a superfood. It's spelled M-O-R-I-N-G-A. If you never heard of it, I just pick them. I don't eat them right off of here. But you can um, dry them and sprinkle it in your foods. But this is like one of the most nutritious plants around. So you guys look that up. It's definitely a superfood. Sugar cane it needs to be... Uh, worked on because it's, it's struggling. And this is probably my asparagus going to seed because this, this is what it looks like. We're not supposed to be able to grow that here, but I just thought I'd try anyway. So basically, it just gives me the bush, <laughs> not really asparagus, but I knew I wasn't supposed to grow it. I just did it anyway. But those are a few of my favorite uh, things that I'm growing. So hopefully I plan to take some of these different items and cut them and, you know, let them root and then go plant them around in my land that I have um, that's undeveloped right now. That's the land that I'll be letting um you know, people stop by if they, you know, need a place to sleep or whatever. Oh, yes. And then the sweet potatoes, of course, uh, these do very well. They don't even require water to grow. Just take a sweet potato and see, look, that's one. And I just use that. That's just like I call it a mother sweet potato. I just put it, leave it in here and let it root. And then I just, these are what I sell, the clippings to these, these sweet potatoes. You just put them in the soil and they will grow. Okay, so it was so hot that I had to take a break. So I put this uh, blanket over the couch so it won't get dirty because I've been working out and I've been out in the yard, but I didn't want to take a shower yet because I didn't get finished. And it's like 90 right now and it's just extremely too hot out there to be trying to plant anything so i'm gonna wait i'll probably do these orders and i may take a shower i'm just gonna have to just get sweaty again but i'll take a shower and then um later on this evening when the sun goes down i'll go back and finish planting the trees but basically i just take this this and then um i look on my shop and see you know who plays what order and i collect the seeds put them in the seed envelope and then i um mail them out for the plants and the cuttings i you know just go i usually cut some 
and I already have them growing. Either they're soaking in water or they're in soil and I water them so that they can grow. And then um, I wrap them up and ship them off. But so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go ahead and get some of my seed orders ready. And for each one, I write a hand written note. And my writing isn't very neat. I'm left-handed, <laughs> but I'm that it does the job. <laughs> then I take, so then I take this seed envelope, and I write on here what it is. And then I put the seeds in. Tape it. And this is purple rat tail radish. Somebody ordered that. She grows differently than the other radishes. You guys should look that up. It's a full um, radish. Then I just put, you know, cover it with bubble wrap and tape it to the card. I have some shirts that I created that I'm going to be selling soon. I just haven't found a publisher or a printer for them. Um, and I also have stuff to make lip gloss, different colored lip glosses. I just haven't had the time to sit down and make them and post and um, you know write the descriptions and post them. I just been you know too busy. So um, all that's coming soon. Now, y'all should see because my husband has to deal with a lot, actually. Sometimes he'll come home early and I'll have like dirt, plants and stuff all over the floor. My daughter sent these to him snitching on me. I have 11 orders. Mom, what did you say? You didn't want to hold them? I'm not talking to you. Who didn't you want to know Nobody. that she did that in the living room? Nobody. <laughs> it would have been cleaned up by the time you get home. I do it every day. You don't know. And it's just like, babe, hey, why you come? You, you know what I mean? And I'll be trying to hurry up and complete the orders before he get home so he won't see I have mess everywhere. He was like, oh, you need to clean this mess up. I'm just, you know, joking with me. And I'll be like, you weren't supposed to be here. Like, you were supposed to still be at work. You shouldn't have got off early. But it's funny because it happens all the time, but he doesn't know because he be at work. So by the time he get home and be cleaned up, he don't know all what transpired while he was gone. So basically, I just, you know, put my little thank you on there. And then I have my labels, um, the address label that I put on here as well. And it just has, you know, that the P.O. box, just in case it's lost or damaged, then it can come back to me. And then I'll know that they didn't receive it or, you know, that I need to resend it. And then last, I address it and put the stamp on it and, you know, take it to the post office. Now with the, um, the plants, the cuttings and all that, I do those a little differently and I'll show you that process. Okay, so somebody placed the order for the Turks cap. So what I do is I clip off pieces that, um, the soft wood, the green part. And I try to find the pieces that aren't really curved, you know, straight up and down, but a lot of them, they curve at the end, so. It's okay. I just do that because I think it looks better, but this one has like a little curve on the end. So I just try to to get the straight up, the pieces that straight. So I ship five cuttings and sometimes I put six or seven, you know, just in case some of them don't take. Then after I cut the cuttings, I remove all the leaves. Or just cut them off. And 
And I just let the leaves fall on the ground and they recycle back to the earth. And this is what it looks like after all the leaves are removed. I'm gonna show you the next step. Next, I just wash them. Make sure that it's transported nice, clean, moist, and without any insects. Once they're good and washed off, I wrap it in a paper towel. Like that. Then I moisten it. Now I take a piece of plastic wrap and wrap it in the wrap. And it's so it'll stay moist. And it could be, you know, since it's moist, getting roots as it's being shipped. Add a label. Just tape the label. And that's my order of Turk's cap. I just put it in a poly mailer, the bubble poly mailers, and print off my label and ship it. So I got all cleaned up. Now I'm doing laundry. It's like, it's always something to do no matter what. It's, it's just crazy because it's like I was working a full-time job and still having a lot to do. And now that I'm not working, it's like, how was I doing that? It's a, it's a lot of stuff. Like, it's, the job never ends. The chores never end. Like, never. But doing laundry. And I made a chili mac. I guess that's what you call it. For my husband yesterday so i don't have to cook and i'm just gonna wait on him to get home and then i have to study tonight and i think that might be it i might finally be done with my day but i haven't rested since about five o'clock this morning i'm gonna check my p.o box to see if i got mail package I'm so excited chill living green got our first package one of the journey buddies sent me something okay let's open this up <laughs> got my first package wow I did not know that Amazon shipped to Uh, P.O. boxes. That's interesting. So it was sent by the post office, USPS, but it came from Amazon. So you can go in and put a P.O. box for Amazon, and then they'll have um, them ship it. This is a question. I'm not. I'm not st making a statement because I didn't know. So let's open up and see what this is. Shell's got mail. <laughs> oh, it feels like Christmas. Christmas in May. Okay. And let's see. Cascade Mountain Tech. Nice package. Oh my gosh. So excited. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. Oh wow, thank you so much. I am so appreciative. Oh, it's two sticks. Oh no. Okay. Two trekking poles. 
I really, really, really appreciate this. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. You're such a beautiful journey, buddy. I love you. I love you. I love you. Thank you. Let me put this thing together. Quick lock and twist lock. So it looks like they have two different type of, um, like, I guess the bottoms, I don't know what you call them. It says basket, snow basket and mud basket. So the mud basket looks like this. And it's for mud, sand, hard packed snow, and soft surfaces. And then it has this ring, which is a snow basket. And it's in, for general use in snow and while snow, snowshoeing. I might have to try snowshoeing. And I don't know what that is. Then they have a boot tip. It's for hard or delicate surface, indoor use, and Nordic walking. And also a rubber tip which is already on there and oh it just says remove it it just protects the protects it so let's see we're on hard it's, oh and they have a general this tip right here is just a general tip and it's suitable suitable for all surfaces and ground conditions let's see i'm still at the post office and i don't care i don't care Nah, I'm not blind, I'm shell. Walk it like a suck it, walk it, walk it like a suck it. Hey, hey, walk it like a suck it. Thank you so much, girl. I can't wait to go on my next trail. I think I'm going to North Carolina and find a mountain. I was so excited. I done left my door open. Woo! Oh, yes. Okay, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, the first uh, tree I have is this banana. Actually, bananas. They're not called banana trees. They're, they're really not trees, but um, double mahio banana. And I let it sit so long, now the, the leaves are dying. But they like a lot of water, so I'm gonna put them down the hill. That way when it rains, the water can run down on them. Uh, but it'll bounce back in a few weeks. Yes, so I think that the lawn guy took my shovel when he was doing the, the lawn last. So I'm gonna have to use this rake, try to dig a hole. much work but if we don't have a shovel no food in the store we're gonna always be able to eat and if you're wondering yes I keep my lawn natural so what you're seeing is like leaves and everything that have fallen I just leave them have this uh, peach tree that's been sitting too long so it's withering a little bit but We'll get it to grow back. It is a tropical prince. 
peach tree. So we're gonna plant that. I had to get them in the ground the best way that I could. I didn't have a shovel, so it's a little bootleg, but I'll fix it later. I just needed to get them in the ground, so I'm gonna give them a good watering and I'll be done. Thank you guys so much for your time. And y'all have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.